Is this Derrick Henry the most ridiculous, cheesy, overpowered, uncontrollable, unstoppable, must-have card they've ever put in the game? YouTube, what's up, boys? I know we've been gone. It's been Christmas. Merry Christmas. I hope all you guys had a great Christmas with your family. It was my first Christmas with my son, my one. He's almost one year old. January 30 turns one years, one year, one one year old, January 3rd. If you guys wanted to check out that, my Instagram has all my, you know, real life pictures, everything like that. You want to check them with my family, make sure you guys follow the Instagram. That link is below. It, we did have a great Christmas. Uh, it was good. Just hung out with uh, just us three, you know, my family uh, here at home. So nothing crazy, but I was fell back from streaming and videos and everything like that. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I appreciate you guys. As we have passed the 30,000 subscriber mark, and we move on to the next mark, man. You pass one goal, you set another one. So let's try to get the 40K. Let's try to get a 50K, 100K, a million. Why not me? Uh, that's how it goes. So... Like I said, Christmas, we did have ham for Christmas. Let me know what's your traditional family's meal on Christmas. What do you guys eat Christmas Eve? Do you eat Christmas Eve? Do you eat Christmas Day? Both? Do you have big meals both days? What's your go-to meal? That's what I like to see. Uh, Thanksgiving, everybody kind of eats the same thing. Christmas is up in the air, man. What do you guys like? I know some people like the seven fishes. Some people like uh, ham. We had ham. That's what we had. So, let me know what you guys had to eat. And when is your big family meal? Is it Christmas Eve? Is it Christmas Day? Or maybe... So... But a gift to us, EA put out this out of position card. Now the out of position cards have always been cool. They've been in Madden forever, I guess. Madden Ultimate Team. Um, so they've always been cool. They've never been ridiculously OP. Uh, and and one thing, and they've always did a pretty good job of putting them in the game, making them a fun little thing to use. Uh, and they've been cool. And this Derek Henry card could have been the same. Had he had about 90 speed, it would have been okay. This is a cool little card. But Derrick Henry is like 98 speed, dude. He's the fastest quarterback. He's a stud. He gets gunslinger and he gets escape artist. This card is ridiculous. Let me show you guys what my team is looking like. First, we, I mean, we got to start with this card, right, boys? We have to see this Derrick Henry card. Where is he? Here he is. I still have Randall. Obviously, you guys know I've been playing with him a lot. But here it is, Derrick Henry. He's a 99 overall with the blue letters but here he is man on the team 97 speed 99 throwing the pressure 99 throwing the run uh to me when you look at a quarterback this is what you look at you look at throw power speed throw under pressure those are pretty much your the accuracies obviously are low deep 87 deep that doesn't matter man he throws the ball where he wants he goes where he wants but 97 speed 6'3 247 pounds derrick henry you guys see, with his abilities, this guy gets Escape Artist and Gunslinger. 6 AP, and then, then for uh, Gunslinger, 2 for Escape Artist. That's 8 AP total. That's one more than Randall. So I got to switch up my abilities to use him. And what am I doing by doing that? We got rid of Post up in the middle. We have no O-line abilities. And then we put we had one, 1 AP left. We put Deep Out Elite on Kyle Pitts. So um, that, that's pretty much what I had to do. So we got Derrick Henry now. We still got the Jets theme team. Been a lot of theme team debates. I want to put a video out here soon on which one I think is the best and if I might switch soon. Uh, for me, be honest with you guys, it probably costs a thousand dollars to switch theme teams. I don't really want to do it. But if a good team comes up, the the big LCQ tournament, last chance tournament, is in probably three weeks. So I gotta figure out maybe new cards will come out until then. So. I'll figure out what's best and go with that. But for me, the offense right now, Jets is still it. Let's take a look at my defense. A lot of snowy players over here on defense. A lot of snowy players. We got Calvin in safety. Ted Hendricks in safety. I love Calvin. I'll be honest about this Calvin Johnson card, boys. He's lighting the boots. And what I mean by that is that he don't he don't carry a big stick. He don't hit hard. 89, 89 power, uh, 89 tackle. He does not hit hard, but he's 6'5". It's 97 speed. This dude goes and gets the football. Uh, the one thing I do have is that one ability that I, you use the uh, special teams or you use solos to get. What is it called? The, the strategy you get all your snow players or is it your zero chill players? Sorry for the this one right here to give you all your all your zero chill players get a point of speed. So you'll see all the snow players that I have all have a point of speed. Extra. Big Ted right here. This guy is a must have on your team somewhere. Uh, almost once you go back to Raiders, Chem. But I actually put him in safety. I actually put him out there and say, go ahead, Ted. 
Uh, you're gonna get, you're gonna get some things done out here, and that's what he is. He's a six seven safety, ninety seven overall, ninety seven zone, ninety six man, six seven. I mean, he's not going to get tea bagged, so that's why you love him out there in coverage. Put him back there. I put him in a deep half along with Calvin. So we got six five, six seven. Our boy Pat Pete, my favorite corner ever in Madden. Uh, we got him out here. So let's see what he's working with. He's working with the cool ninety seven speed. 96 on 97, man. You know he's 6'1". Not sure himself. 6'1 is a good height for corner. And then, probably the best DB in the game right here, boys. The best DB in the game, Isaiah Simmons. We're going to put him at corner. We're going to run him at corner. 99 speed, 6'4". You say 99 man, 99 zone, 99 hit power. Like, dude, this is a golden ticket. But you are looking at the first golden ticket DB in the game. Look at that. Everybody's 9. Like, what, what more do you guys want out of this card? Uh, ultimately, competitively, I don't know where I'm going to play this card. He's he's a card that, like, you can make an argument that he can play every single position. Uh, user, safety, corner, pass rusher. Like, this guy can, I mean, he can literally do it all. I mean, probably, obviously, the best card in the game. Uh, I would say, if you guys are making your team and people always ask, is Derrick Henry worth it? Uh, I, would, I would say target Isaiah Simmons before you target Derrick Henry. This is me. Now, Derrick Henry is OP, but... This card is this card will play on your team for the rest of the year. He's ridiculous. So here we go. I got my Derrick Henry. I he's he's like a million coins, and that's what people is he worth? It? No man. None of these cards. None of these cards are worth anything. Nobody spent taught me that man. If you're gonna play good with this card, you're gonna play good with a lesser card. It's just they might help you, but man. I, I would say if I was like casual or I wasn't comp or I wasn't trying to win tournaments or stream or anything, I was just, I it's I know you guys, it's hard to resist the urge, but you can wait a week for these cards. Their prices are going to drop and you're not going to have to spend two, three hundred dollars to try to get these cards, man. You're going to have to spend a quarter of that. Uh, and I think that's always the move if you're playing, I don't want to say casually, but you know, if you're, if you're just, if you're asking, is it worth it? No, it's not. But I got my Derrick Henry. We're going to try them out. He is OP. Escape artist, 98 speed, uh, gunslinger. He's tough. So let's see what I do with him. It is it is the first game with him. So, and I'm kind of hype. You're like a kid with a new toy. Let me play with it. Let me play. Let me do this. Let me do that. Let me do this. So let's see how it goes, boys. Now this is a new video. My voice just went over. Let me know if you guys think this is a dub or an L. Comment below. Is this video style better than a normal one? Let me know what you think. Let's get into this gameplay. All right, boys. This was the first game of weekend league. You think to yourself, man, the first game of weekend league. I'm going to get a pretty easy game. That's how like the first 10 are. But this guy was actually kind of sweaty. So it was a real good test for our Derrick Henry, the first game. He's running a bunch offset. He's audibling around maybe that Jets playbook or Cincinnati or Philly. What I I don't know what playbook. You guys know I run Seattle, madturf.com. You can check that out. That's what I've run pretty much the last two years. And here we go with Cam. People telling me Cam getting a little slow. I still love Cam Chancellor. I think he's the best DB in the game. So for me, that was tough. But here, Isaiah Simmons, that six foot foe at corner, makes a huge play. His juke was a little weak after that. But we don't pick DBs because of the juke. Here we go. Derrick Henry starting 99 yard drive. Can he leave a 99 yard drive right out the gate? And I hit a flat pass. That's normally how I play. That's uh, maybe because I was on the one yard line. But here we go. We try to scramble. We get sacked by LT. Uh, that escape artist looked a little weak right there. We get a third down. We're going to hit a little touch pass here to Kyle Pitts. Big play. I think Pitts is the best tight end in the game. 94 speed. That new Vernon Davis came out. Finley's really good. Who are you guys using the tight end, man? Because I, I think Pitts is the best. It's a little expensive, but he, I think he's worth it. Here we see Derrick Henry right there taking a hit after a spin. Uh, one thing I, I love about this Derrick Henry card, boys, is that, you know, he, he hasn't fumbled. So... That's tough for you guys. If you guys have been watching my competitive career, my career, man, and I fumbled with the quarterback a lot. So if this guy can solve that problem, huge W uh, alone just off that. Here we go, Derrick Henry. That time I get sacked. You see, I don't have any O-line abilities, so we got shuttered real quick. Second and 14 here. We get double team split again, and we throw this in the O. <sighs> throw a pick. I don't think he overdo it. I think I clicked on and tried to get in front to not throw a pick. I got too aggressive with my wide receiver there, and that's what caused that problem. Uh, but we did throw a pick. People say deep accuracy. That doesn't matter. Don't, don't. Anybody that talks about accuracy thresholds, accuracy, that does, I'm telling you right now, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He just overdo it. I clicked on the receiver, tried to make sure I got my hands on the football, but missed it. And he's starting to dot me now, boys. He's going up top inside the 10-yard line. We're, uh, we're closing in a two-minute warning here. 
He throws in a flat here. Isaiah Simmons, you want that big 99 hit power at corner. It's pretty nice. Second and six, he's going to run here, and he's going to fall down. This is the first game of Weekend League, and we're trying to sweat like this. Okay. Falls down again. Is he going to score? Is it going to cost him by doing that? He goes with another dive, and he gets the third down. He's going to actually quick snap this play, and he catches me as he hit this quick wheel route to Kamara. Touchdown. But I, I still... I don't know why you milk there because I still have three timeouts. I want to get the ball back. And now we got to play smart, man. We've been – a lot of these plays I've been like, what can I do with Derrick Henry? Can I roll out with him? Can I get away from the contains? Can I – a bunch of different things. But now we're just going to try to play smart here. Hit the wheel route on cover two. Right up the seam. Keyshawn Johnson. Baja touchdown inside the 10. We tie the game up. Like I said, I'm, I'm not worried about milking. This was the first game of the weekend league. Let's go ahead and, and just get some points on the board. Get some big plays with this Derrick Henry card. Let's see what he got for us, boys. That's what that's what it is. Let's see what he got. Here we heat up heat up the quarterback, and Simmons can't get that pick. I need that acrobat pick out there in the flat on that running back pass. Third and ten. He goes up top, tries our boy Pat P, and just out of reach. If that was a good pass, that was a pick by Pat P. Big fourth and ten here. We send five, and he rolls a little bit to the left, hits this crossing route. Good dot right there. I had a purple zone. Just over his head. A little bit out, outstretched fingers of Cam Chancellor there. So he's driving tie game. We have great coverage on this play. But he throws right at me. Surprised me. Why would you throw that? And it, it just by the time I realized he threw it at me, I had way too much momentum going out of bounds. Picks up a big play. He's in field goal range. I'll tell you what, man. If you throw out my user, you're probably going to complete it half of the time. Because I'm just, I'm just, I, I don't think you're going to throw it. It surprises me. Uh, here he's illegal touching right there. He's closing in. On just taking a field goal. Runs the ball. Falls down to make sure he gets his field goal here. He's going to be up 10-7 at halftime on my Derrick Henry. But we just got to play smart, man. Play. Don't be too hype about Derrick Henry. Just play your normal game. Things are open all over the field, man. It's like when you get that when you get that new toy, that new player. Let's see what he can do. Let's test the limits. Uh, especially the first game. This is the first game. And I haven't used Escape Artist all year. People tell me it's OP. It's good. It's, oh, Escape Artist is great. I'll be honest, I don't, maybe, I, like I said, I'm not that good at using it, but uh, like I said, so just trying to test it out for the Warriors the first time. Here we go with three-man rush. He gets a shed right up the middle, and I, I'm trying to run away, and these contains just stop me. The thing with no post-up, man, a three-man rush with contains will beat you. Here we go again, just contain around the edge. My escape artist is looking really, really weak right now, boys, uh, and we get shedded again. We're getting dominated in my old line. I just can't get out of the pocket. We get a fourth down here. Uh, honestly, I kind of was going to throw that streak regardless right there. That was predetermined. Now, as I watched the playback, I kind of had everybody else. But don't tell me in the comments who I missed right there. But fourth down, we get bagged right there. Just getting pressured at no post up anymore. But he throws a pick right to that boy Cam Chancellor. And what's crazy about that play, if you watch that playback, I had still had my zones. Everybody on 30. So everybody just kept dropping, and he just threw right at him. Somehow, Deion Sanders comes out of nowhere, tackles me. But we're in the scoring territory, in the red zone. Can Derrick Henry lead this offense? But as I look at this, man, Derrick Henry and Kamara in the backfield, that's that's kind of a tough-ass duo. But Kyle Pitts up the middle. Touchdown. Boom. We take a 14-10 lead. Uh, like I said, play your game. Don't try to scramble. Don't try to just abuse this Derrick Henry. See what he got. Uh, keep your game together. But we're up by four now. We're feeling good. Got to play a little bit of defense. He pops a run here. Ted Hendricks, get down in the box and make a play, big fella. You're 6'7 for a reason. I need you to go make that play. I, there we go again. That acrobat pick in the flats. I've had one corner this year pick that in a hard flat. It was Cordero Patterson was the one corner with acrobat that's actually picked off that play. So is he the best corner in the game? I don't know. I mean, but he's the only one that picked that off. He goes up top to Dion here. Toe taps. He's inside the 10 after that play. Uh, we rush three right here. We get pancaked, and Tony Romo scrambles. In the so I got Derrick Henry. I got this OP card. He's scrambling in with Tony Romo, so that's how it goes. But we take off here, get a nice little 20-yard gain with Henry. We slide. Might boo me in the comments for that slide right there. But I, I really had nowhere to go. I don't know. And I'm, Plus, I'm losing. I can't lose the first game of weekend league. We got to play smart here. Kamara making a play out of the backfield. Here we go. Play smart. Take what's there. Take what's available. Don't, don't try to hit a big play. Here, try, try to scramble. We break a tackle and pick up a couple. Pick up two. If you look at the clock, man, things are getting a little tight right now. It's, it's, it's getting that point of the game. Uh, I'm down by three. We're already in field goal range. The game is tied if I want it. But we're going to try to push it. We're going to try to push, get a touchdown in this game right here. 
want to milk the ball a little bit. Not milk the ball, but, I mean, if it's first down, run the ball, move the clock. There we go. We got two-minute warning already, man. So, definitely feeling good about this. We're, we're in complete – I don't want to say complete control of this game, but a touchdown, and we're looking good. Uh, like I said, back to the basics. Don't try to roll out. He's rushing seven and eight people. Let me just dump it off to Kamara. Make a move. Boom. Baja. Touchdown. Always take the lead. You could have milked, but – I'll always take a four-point lead, especially with two minutes. And he's got everybody's got all their timeouts. If he's going to milk me perfectly, take my timeout, score a touchdown, and win, and God bless him, man. Good game. That's how I feel. I'll always take a four-point lead here under two minutes. And because of that, we lurk his life away. Big play, Jamal Adams right there. Gets the pick. And now we're just going to make a couple plays, getting ends on. You see Derrick Henry making, there it is, spin move, takes a hit stick. He might really be a tank. He might really be a tank. Boys, dump it off to Kamara underneath again. Spin move first down. That's pretty much going to end the game. We're going to milk it out right here. Uh, run the ball fourth down. He's going to get into his timeout. So he can still get the ball back if he holds me to three right here. But on this play here, second and goal. Derrick Henry's going to drop back, break a sack, and he's getting up out of there, boys. <laughs> Nobody's stopping under that. It, Touchdown. GG's. My man, Derrick Henry's going to put us up by 11 points. Next play, he's going to try to force some. Six foot four, Isaiah Simmons with the huge pick. pick GG's only you boys. That's going to be enough, man. He's fell to the flow. He don't want no mo. That's Derrick Henry, man. Is he the best quarterback ever? Is he amazing? I, my verdict's still out. He's pretty awesome. I haven't, I didn't fumble with him. You guys saw that game. He threw the ball pretty well for the most part. I'm going to keep using him and make sure you guys check me out live on Twitch. Using this Derrick Henry card for the West, rest of the weekend league. I believe I'm still undefeated, rocking and rolling. So, Verdict's still out. Like I said, if you're up in the air, he's in packs tomorrow, Monday. So his price is going to drop a lot. That's when you go get him. Not now. He's over a million coins. If he was in your gifts, I didn't really do gifts. I don't know anything about that. But for not, wait till tomorrow. See if you want to try him out, man. But for most part, he's pretty cracked.